Hey guys, this is Dr. Sean from Natural Body Works. Today, I'm going to explain a little bit of uh, the pain spasm cycle and how it relates to kind of holistic care, basically. A lot of patients come in, they ask me the same questions every time. How come this keeps coming back? Why am I having pain? And what can I do about it? So there's a few things we can do about it. Um, and I'll show you those as we get through this. This is going to get really complex really fast. The basics of it is called the pain spasm cycle. I'll draw it out for you real quick. Uh, basically, it says there's going to be a kind of pain, right, of whatever kind from some kind of injury. Pain is going to cause um, uh, ischemia, which I'll explain. That's basically decreased blood flow, increased toxin flow. That's going to cause spasm. And... Spasm is going to cause misalignment, whatever, and that's going to cause more pain. So it's this big cycle, right? But we're going to go through some other parts of it. There's some more. There's a lot more to it. There's an emotional component. There's a chemical component, and of course, there's a physical component. Well, let's go through a physical component first. This is a really easy way to to understand this. Um, let's say we have tissue injury. Let's say you sprain your ankle. You uh, hurt your back lifting something, you get hit, there's some kind of initial injury that's here. So this initial injury causes a few things. Number one, it causes tissue damage. Maybe bruising, which is bleeding, oops, bleeding inside the tissues. We've all had a bruise. So what this does cause though, is this causes a reaction with the tissue damage. So there's bits of cells that should be on the insides of cells on the outside. That acts as what's called an antigen, which is the bad guy. Or not a bad guy, it just means that there's something there that shouldn't be there. Your body will react to it through inflammation. Inflammation will lead to pain. Okay? Got it so far? So, tissue damage, inflammation because of the stuff that's been released from that tissue damage will cause inflammation. This is just the chemical component now. That's going to cause pain. So the pain is a sin, is a, a information from your brain and to your brain that something has gone wrong. Tissue damage. So it tells us to stop messing with it and stop moving. Guarding and stiffness, that's here. So you hold it, you don't want to move it as much. That causes more tissue ischemia. Okay, tissue ischemia, remember, that's just a decrease in oxygen. This is O2 over here. Can you see that actually? So there's a decrease in O2, an increase of CO2, therefore a decrease in pH. So you become more acidic. We don't like to be acidic. That causes more problems. With the acidic we're talking about, we're getting carbonic acid because of the carbon dioxide that can't get out of the area. We're also getting lactic acid and a whole bunch of other acids, sulfuric acids and stuff, because of the metabolic process of your body trying to, A, get rid of the bad stuff and work without oxygen properly. That could lead to spasm. Spasm is an actual reaction. Tension, trigger points, all of that kind of stuff, tension. All of those kind of things are a natural reaction to guarding or pain. Now, as that tightens up, it can cause misalignment. Misalignment, that's the joints out of place when you go to the chiropractor and get adjusted. That's what we're trying to do is we're trying to change this so that this stops, so that this stops, so that this stops, and so that this can heal. Okay, does that make sense so far? You're hopefully nodding. I don't know, this is YouTube. So. Uh, if the misalignment and the spasms continue for too long, we get scar tissue, stasis, and adhesions. Scar tissue is this stuff and this stuff that couldn't get out. And your body basically says, fine, we'll just keep it there. And it can't put blood flow through it, so it can't clean it up. So what's the main things we want to do to stop this thing is get your adjustments, realign yourself, whatever way it is. Sometimes it's through... Uh, yoga, sometimes it's through muscle movement, massage therapy, um, 
mobilization, chiropractic, whatever, well, those kind of things. How do we get rid of these? Well, you can take drugs, but that's the fake way to do it. The drugs, what it does is reduce the spasm and hopefully increase blood flow, reducing the ischemia. Then that would reduce the pain and we can come back to here. But some people take them too long and they don't deal with this. If this doesn't get dealt with, these continue. Does that make sense? Right? I say that a lot. Does this make sense? But we'll keep up with it. Now, this is just the main basic of the pain spasm cycle. So, we have to take into consideration some other points. Go through here. Here we have physical injury. What if we have chemical injury? Chemical injury would be either lactic acid buildup from overuse or misuse. Okay, lactic acid, lactic acid is the normal buildup of an acid because you've used your sugars in the mitochondria and the muscles too long without oxygen. It's called anaerobic buildup of lactic acid. That lactic acid, fortunately, is recyclable. It just gets sent to the liver eventually if we can increase the blood flow through massage, through heat, through motion, through manipulation, through adjustments, through whatever. Then we can get this lactic acid to go back to the liver, get recycled, gluconeogenesis, and turn back into glucose to go back. That's easy, right? But there's a whole bunch of other chemical things that can happen in here. We have histamines and heparins and uh, all kinds of stuff, substance P, uh, and some other chemicals that, that are related to pain and injury. Now that comes back right into here and gives us pain again. That comes back up into here and causes us to become guarding and stiff. We don't want to move. There's a fear reaction. This is all fear. Right? Who wants to move something that hurts? You think you're going to hurt it again. Now, sometimes we get stuck in this. We're like, put yourself in a brace, put yourself in a cast for too long. Usually what we should do, in my opinion, on these kind of things, is as soon as possible, get this moving in the comfortable range of motion. Right? The more you move it a little bit, the less you'll uh, build up those adhesions and scar tissue. Because you're, you're promoting blood flow through that area. What else can increase the blood flow through the area? Cupping. The dry needling trigger point therapy, massage therapy, mobilization, which is movement therapy, yoga, exercise, um, there's probably a zillion other things you could do to increase blood flow. Heat, of course. Um, that will increase oxygen, it'll in decrease CO2, it'll increase the pH. By increased pH, we make it more alkaline, which your body likes the alkaline stuff, remember? Um, over here, tissue ischemia goes away, spasm should go away, naturally. When spasms go away, misalignment can stay, unfortunately. So this is why you want to get adjusted. This is why you want to have the mobilizations. So if you get the mobilizations, the, the stuff in place where it should be stacked on top of each other, reduce the misalignments, the, the muscles have no reason to spasm. There's no reason to have ischemia. There's no reason to have the guarding. There's no reason to have the pain. And then your, your body can naturally heal the tissues because you can get better blood flow in here. Better blood flow brings more healing materials. It brings more, uh, oh, what's it called? Healing materials and gets rid of all the toxins. So we would get rid of our injury, eventually heal. Does that make sense? So if you went ahead and you had this misalignment and you just left it, you took a bunch of pain pills and that didn't really do anything, but the misalignment stays. And then you go off and you start working out and you start exercising, you start doing stuff, you're gonna maintain this even longer. It takes you many, many times longer to heal from this and even get these to stay or get these to even happen if your body has been set up to keep this misalignment in place. What do we mean by misalignment? We mean two bones that should be stacked on top of each other off kilter. Okay, not juxtaposed, if you will, not in proper alignment. How do you determine proper alignment? Through observation. You check the muscles on either side, you see that one is tight, one is too loose or one's too loose, the other one's tight, or one's normal and one's loose, whatever. And you can kind of feel through palpation, using your hands. You can see it on x-ray occasionally, but you can feel it much better. you got to find somebody who does actual palpation, hands-on. Not trying to find lumpy bumps that are bones, but actually find the lumpy bumps which are the spasms. Trigger points. Work on those. Then you can get the alignment back into place, and then your body can relax. Be out of dis-ease into so that's
the whole shebang right there. If we talk about emotional stuff too, we can talk about emotional um, uh, stress as well. Emotional stress kind of works its way over here to tension. We tend to guard and get stiff like in the neck and upper back and we get into a defense posture or a surprise posture which is called an alert response. And those can cause tissue ischemia, which can cause spasms, which can cause misalignments, which can eventually cause pain. That causes tissue damage. Tissue damage over time builds up scar tissue. Scar tissue is not good. This is where dry needling comes in, by the way. Acupuncture helps you deal with pain by increasing the uh, chemicals like endorphins and kephalins and things like that that help you reduce your own pain, serotonins, for example. Helps the guarding and stiffness because you start to actually relax and these muscles will start to detense. Then you will work with tissue ischemia because we're coming back over here and we're starting over again. A histamine and heparin response, trying to get those guys to come in and clean up. So imagine if you're doing dry needling or acupuncture, many times it's like no one has paid attention to the area before. It's considered normal pain. It's considered normal trouble. So what happens is like going into your kid's room saying, I thought you cleaned your room but the place is a mess. This is what the needles do. They re-alert your body mind to go back and clean it up. So anyway, this is Dr. Sean over Natural Body Works. Give us a call, get in here, rewatch this, go look it up. I teach anatomy and physiology. This is kind of what we teach. This is part of it. It gets way bigger than this. This is a total rabbit hole. Any one of these can be a rabbit hole for you and you can go through them. You can have emotional components to each one of them. You can have uh, consciousness, spiritual, uh, gee whiz, um, gut, like gut feelings, that kind of stuff, components to this. Chemistry makes a huge difference with all of this, so make sure you're taking your multivitamins and getting good nutrition and what you put in, and your water, and your good air, and yada yada, all that kind of stuff. And then physical, how are you using body, how are you fixing the body, how are you taking care of it. So take care of yourselves, and uh, do that by coming on in here and getting us to uh, uh, work on you. Don't forget, take care of you, and then you can take care of everybody else. Hope you guys are doing well. See you later. This is Dr. Sean over Natural Body Works. Have a good one. Bye.